Connor realizes the nerd in his class isn't feeling great. Hey, you okay? Another pupil in Connor's class gets closer to the two boys. Hey, you. Aren't you in our class? Good point, Ginger. Eric Forberg is my name. A 12 year old, years old boy with gray hair, not easy to miss. This is totally a cosplaying school. Um, you, how dare you? Boom. Connor received a palm slap in the middle of the forehead. Sarol, you okay? You may consider me as crazy, but Merkwartz has become the bunker of death. We may be the next victims. We need to get out of here. Uh, hey? For your information, we are in the Saboa Islands. Not even to flee by swimming. He doesn't want to leave the island, he just wants to leave the Murkwart's Cavern. And don't you find it strange the fact that we are confined in our dorms instead of leaving Murkwart's? Come with me, I don't want to leave alone. Do we really have to get out of here? I mean, for all we know, the killer could be on the outside of the island, so... So my vote would actually be stay here like the teachers told us, but um, apparently the options are leave the safety of the dorm and go outside into the wilderness, or leave the safety of the dorm and go out looking for the murders, murderer specifically. A murderer, I might add, who probably knows magic, and we do not know magic. Uh, so let's go running. Caswell, I'm coming with you. Me too. You are not strong enough to go only to two. Eric's mark was a mix between empathy and scorn for his roommates. At night, Connor, Caswell, and Eric are ready to flee Markwarts. Oh, so we're running out at night. They are equipped to defend themselves if the situation was about to get bad. It's time, no one, nobody around. Eric opens the dorm's door. It creaks a lot. Uh, that seemed less creaking and more enterprise doors, but... Hey, don't make so much noise. Not my fault. Damn it, the school really needs to invest more on its equipment. Connor slips into the door's opening. Caswell and Eric follow him. I'm going first. As you wish. Yes, go first. Caswell is frightened. Markwartz is a labyrinth of corridors, and the very weak lighting doesn't help. Which tactic should we adopt? I was kind of expecting only one choice in this. Um... Hmm... Let's move slowly. Caswell is sweating, his mind is filled with worry. Oh, what's the green light? So big impressive wooden door, which I... is that like the other side of the disguised rock wall? The boys find a weak source of light at the end of a corridor. 
A half-open door stands in front of the trio. Eric takes a peek through the opening to see if nobody is waiting behind. Juliet betrayed us, but she regretted it. I'm not a sorcerer, but I was amazed by your magical skills, Mrs. Zeri. The third leg is still giving me shivers. That's logical. I've been practicing my magic for 600 years. Professors, as you know, we sacrifice pupils that are not worthy of studying in Merkboards. And those who finish the five-year program, we conscript them by force. So, what's happening there? The professors. Miss Zeri killed Miss Goni because she was about to denounce their evil project. Did she say? Yeah, she said. Yeah, she betrayed them. What the hell? Thanks, Connor. Crap. Damn it, Connor. Why did you do that? Run, 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 run. Caswell quickly moves away from the door. Good evening. Did our little meeting please you? Er, could you tell us the way to the restroom? I know they're lying. Shoot. Eric runs away like a prey. Connor follows him the best he can. Get them. They're as aggressive as dogs. To stop them, I summon a fog. Poof. Caswell summoned a fog between his friends and the professors. It's impossible to see something through this fog. But how did he do that? D did you skip class or something? I've read the leaflet. The rocks which served to build Merkworts are filled with magic energy. Boom. Miss Zeri hit her shoulder on the wall because of the bad visions. She fell to her knees. Mr. Coriza, why didn't you foresee that kid's spell? I read it. I read in the minds, not the future. He suddenly thought about it. And my name is not Coriza. Not bad, Roswell. I don't get it. The boys flee, but they can't see any obstacle in the darkness. The boys are hidden behind a wall. They manage to escape to the professors. I suggest that we split to increase our chances to find the exit. Tell me, have you ever watched a horror movie? Each time the heroes split, they get slaughtered one by one. Just a cliché. And you find logical that we split? We don't even know where we have to go. And how would someone do to tell the others he's found the exit? Ah, uh, I think we are getting closer to the exit. I remember this room. Phew. Don't you know it's currently the night? We may be attacked outside by wild beasts. We'll definitely be attacked inside by teachers. Werewolves, leprechauns, dragons, ogres, and... Leprechauns in the Samoa. But learn better your lessons, Rico. Who's Rico? Maybe. Maybe leprechauns exist in Ireland, but I'm sure that's not the case in the Samoa. I could see bats and exotic birds on my way to the cavern. Cavern. At worst, we may get bitten on the neck and get rabies. That's actually pretty bad. Um. How did you call me? Rico? Connor and Eric follow Caswell, who starts feeling calm. Here's the exit. We've left Merkwards. Now we have to leave this deadly cavern. Yeah, it's not over yet. 
the boys slowly get closer to the surface. Ten meters, eight meters, six meters, four meters, two meters. I think there's someone near the exit. A threatening shadow shows near the cavern's exit. Oh, it's you. Why are you saying that with such a calm voice? It's Miss Zeri. Don't underestimate the powers of magic. I teleported near the cavern's exit while the fog was clearing up. I just had to wait for you. I knew you were planning to flee. Game over. My praise want to flee, a rock slide should make them beg for mercy. Miss Zeri's spell triggered a rock slide which blocks the only exit. Pitch black. Why do you want to eliminate us? Listen, if you've read the leaflet on Merkwartz, Merkwartz's story, you would have learned that a cyclops lived in this cavern. Its skeleton is even exposed in Merkwartz Hall. Books say that human ashes may be used as energy to bring someone back to life. I want to resurrect Irigosekos. You want to resurrect some Greek singer? Questionable, but atypical. She must be talking about the Cyclops. Gray-haired boy, I'm going to eliminate you first. No. Connor bends the fingers of his right hand like to hold something in his paw. Oh. I, they had a sound effect. I don't have to read that. An energy ball grows inside Connor's hand. Hun. Connor sends his ener electrical energy ball on Miss Zeri, who is propelled by the shock. But why? You should have done some researches on me. Five years ago, I got struck by lightning. I was seriously wounded, but I slowly recovered. Except that something has changed. My body got filled with electric energy. Why did Bull Arrow... Coal, coal Era... Not foresee your powers... Because I'm focusing on his classes, and I'm not using my powers to cause trouble. It's not in my nature. Now back off. Connor generates another ener electricity ball. Ha! Ha! Miss Zeri faints and lays down on the floor. Ginger, so you're a superhero? A superhero who has infiltrated to put an end to the Green Witch's evil projects? Cool. Oh, yeah, cool. Why are you preparing to attack? She's unconscious. At this exact time, when you think that the killer is dead, he wakes up for a last scare. Connor feels that Miss Zeri is jumping towards him. Enough! The shockwave sends Miss Zeri's head first on the rock wall. The hit has been so strong it broke Miss Zeri's neck. Brutal. Game over. Dude, come up with a better, like, one-liner. Not very cool to appropriate yourself Miss Zeri's favorite exp Did she say that earlier? Okay, if she said that earlier, then I take that back. Yeah. Totally quote her words back at her. The electricity ball explodes the rocks. Connor, Caswell, and Eric finally leave the 1001 Shivers Cavern. I didn't know that was its name until now. Finally outside. Eric, Connor, thank you for helping me. No problem. Why are you so calm? We've just escaped from a crazy witch. You should even cry out your joy for staying alive. I'm not showing a lot my feelings, you know. Me? That's the opposite. I can't keep them inside. Caswell bursts into tears. Connor and Eric hold one shoulder each. That's fine. 
I guess the boats on which we embarked are still here. Yeah, farewell, Cursed Island. So, so like earlier with that choice to make friends, we made friends with that one girl totally to just leave her with all of the other homicidal teachers to die, right? Brutal. Connor, Caswell, and Eric leave Merkwort's island to go to the biggest island of the American Samoa. However, they can't go back to their homes. By boat or by plane, they don't even have a penny. Caswell grabs something from his pocket. Little souvenir of Merkwort's. Oh nice, a rock from the cavern. Hmm, which spell should we cast? I'd like to get back in time before telling my parents... I registered to Merkwort's. I'd like to be more social. Me, be famous. This rock only allows us one spell, but which one? We escaped to a tragic end, let the rocks multiply in his hand. Dude, you can't just wish for more wishes. The magic rock gets black and goes to pieces. The spell has been cast. Many magical rocks have appeared inside Caswell's hand. Excellent, Eric. Connor takes a rock. The events were scary. I want to return two months before to Cork. Or Cork City. Connor is sucked by a blue sphere. Connor went back in time such as planned. Is that his wallpaper or are we doing like video chess against cat? He returned to his home in Ireland. Connor sees the leaflet for Merkwartz on his desk. Hmm. I'm not really interested in Merkwartz anymore. I have the feeling that some very strange events would happen there. Too bad, I found Cole Esterol quite sympathetic. Okay, that's like the fourth name that that character has had. Damn it, I went back in time. But Eric, Caswell, and Patricia, they're not saved. And also that one other girl that we didn't make friends with and all of the other students. Connor is alive, but he knows that Eric, Caswell, and the others will be condemned to re revive the same night of terror. Story repeats. Eric and Caswell tried to flee, but they were just two. They were dominated by Miss Zeri, who turned them into servants. Alternatively, if Connor did not go with them, he would not have shouted out and alerted the teachers that they were snooping. Evening Gosekos woke up. It's causing trouble in the American Samoa. But his weakness was the iodine of the ocean. The giant cyclops was easily eliminated. It didn't prevent Miss Zeri to become Queen of Merkwarts and rule over all the students anyways. Finn. Cavern, Cavern from Pixabay by the... For the title screen, edited image. Is that the image? You know, now I think I've... Uh, that starting music, was that from the RMN music pack? Yeah, because I think there was a piece titled Cavern in there. But they're talking about the image here. Intro scenery from Pixabay. Cavern from Pixabay. Stuff. Okay, this is just crediting all of the images. It's like a click through. All of the previously credited images are free to use for non-commercial projects. Um... Okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, it was, yeah, the RMN Music Pack's Cavern Music by Snowy Fox. That was where I'd heard the music before. Um, so, yeah, cool that stuff from that pack is getting used in projects. Okay, and it looks like floated the other music.
Okay. Um, so... Overall, pretty simple. Um, not like simple in a bad way, but you know, short project. Um, the fact that the music kind of was bouncing between having music and not having music was kind of... It was kind of weird going to scenes without any music whatsoever. Um, obviously, there was a bunch of spelling and grammatical stuff. Um, I mean, from my understanding, it is the French version is the actual main version of the game, and the English is a translation that the author did. Um, so that's obviously understandable. Um, I guess kind of foreshadowing would have been like it felt like nothing was foreshadowed like no hint that the teachers are evil until they get to the meeting no hint that something's gone wrong until they find find the body um no hint that anything's odd with the main character until he pulls out electricity powers and they were kind of narratively unnecessary since they were already casting spells at that point, but overall a good effort. Um, functional. Um, and let's see what else. Um, like, I mean, I think, I think at that point, like, now maybe it's like a heavily branching thing and I actually probably should go through and like, you know, do any of the other choices matter? Are there any bad ends? Um, is there maybe a choice that leads the main character to meet up with the others? Um, you know, I'm wondering if I had gone to check by myself to go try to confront, to find the murderer, would I have run into the two female students? Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to check on that. Um... And if this video just ends, then it turns out that there was nothing different. And I'm just gonna, like, zoom through. You found how to enter, you're smart. Hey, hey. Who are you, young boy? Let's talk to the crutch girl this time. Huh, not too tired after descending to 13 meters and one quarter deep with a crutch. That's not easy to walk on rocks. Mind I help you? What's your name? Lana Delore. My older brother helped me to descend. He's already in his fourth year at Merkwartz. Which subjects would you enjoy the most? I don't know. I'm lost. She's so stressed, and where is her brother anyways? He should be at her side to cheer her up. Other pupils are pretending to ignore you because of this crutch, but I'm with you and I'll stay with you. Connor, stay with me. And the Foghorn returns. Wanna hold on to me? Thanks. I feel like it would be easier for her to use the crutch than to hold on to eh, whatever. Uh, he sees the nerd who is alone in the hall. He will be alone in the classroom. The girl who was humming in the hall goes to the back of the classroom. Professor is entering. He seems to be young. Connor escorts Lana. Together they move to the hall. 
Connor and Lana go to Miss Zeri's sorcery class. Will they be able to make the books float before the end of the class? Let's see. Connor gets closer to Lana and helps her leaving the class. They have a little... Just thinking of it, sorcery could make you move easier in Merkwarts. As we are inside a cavern, I'm not sure that the elevators were built to help the persons with reduced mobility. Yes, that's the problem. Tell me, why do you have this crutch? Is that serious? No, it's not important. Just my foot. I ran and I stepped in a hole. Thanks. Something terrible has happened again. And let's compliment him this time. Stop the murderer. Sorry, that, but this part of the story hasn't been written yet. The choice is considered as yes. Um, but don't worry, you will watch an alternative version for the an alternative story for the next version. Okay, so it looks like this is a demo. Should be a good idea. Okay, and it looks like there's no changes to the ending. So that'll be it. Um, 